young people at a music workshop in Tel Aviv. It's an unusual scene in this part of the world. Palestinians and Israelis, Christian, Muslim and Jew, these teenagers are writing a song, recording a music track and producing a video together. We must understand war is not the way Hatred will go away Efforts we make, responsibility we take The words on the wall where they've been experimenting with the lyric reveal how they feel about growing up in a conflict zone. The project is the brainchild of Rob Cowan, founder of the Point Blank Music Production and DJ College in London. I believe in the power of music as a, a tool for social regeneration. I believe that the arts can have a place and that we're just doing our small bit. The instructor is Mohammed Nazam, a tutor at Point Blank and founder of Baraka, a multi-faith band from London. He's been the music leader. He's actually been the one that's been orchestrating everything you see here, teaching them and making sure that the music came together. Every summer the Windows for Peace group brings together young people from both sides of the Israeli-Palestinian divide. The 15-year-old schoolgirls Natalie Badur and Tamara Abu Hamama from Bethlehem have been attending the Windows workshops for the past three years. I hope it will at least influence a couple of people and to get them to know what we go through and how we deal with the situation here in Palestine and Israel and how the two countries um, communicate or how they live together. Actually, it changed my life because uh, before I went for a I went to Windows, I was thinking that the Israeli people are really bad and they think of us bad and they don't like us. So when I met the group, it was like a shock for me. Now I really changed all my thoughts about the Israeli people and I'm really happy about it. Like we just tell everybody in Bethlehem that we are in Windows and it's really cool and we're meeting the Israeli people and they're really good. The teenagers who made this video know it won't solve all their problems, but for the moment at least their song is louder than the drums of war. This is Matthew Kalman reporting for the Media Line from Tel Aviv.